Hey guys, welcome back to Grind City Media. I'm Lang Whitaker. He's Kyle Anderson. Uh, we're getting to know each other. We're getting to know Memphis. And so we brought you to The Rendezvous. Yes, sir. It's kind of in the cut. You have yeah. to go like down the alley and like down the stairs. I like that about it though. I know, it's it gives it character, cool. right? Right. Um, it's been here 70 years. This is where dry rub ribs were invented. We got a bunch of food. Let's eat. Let's, Let's talk, do it. Let's right? do it. So you don't eat pork. No, I don't. When did, when did you stop pork? Uh, my dad just never allowed me to eat it. Growing up? Um, yeah. And, uh, Have you ever had bacon? I snuck some in here and there. <laughs> He'd probably That's get all like... mad, yeah. <laughs> Those are chicken nachos, by the way. Let me try them out. You know, a funny story. Uh, like, I was at my grandmother's house when I was a kid, and she had me eating pork. And he got all upset about it, you know, like, you know, that his kids are eating pork. <laughs> And my mom and my grandmother, you know, yelled at him and snapped at him so fast. Like, I'm gonna feed, I'm gonna feed my grandchild whatever I want. <laughs> so grandma, grandma ate pork. Grandma for sure she ate some pork. Yeah. <laughs> my dad, on the other hand, didn't. <laughs> we need to bring your dad to the rendezvous. Mm -hmm. Where did you grow up? New Jersey. Yeah, grew up back in New Jersey, mm -hmm. North Jersey, about uh, 10, 15 minutes from New York City. Okay. So. Uh, so you were what Knicks fan or no? Um, I was more a Nets fan, but I never really had a. It was like Jason Kidd team. Nets. Yeah, I like Jason Kidd, yeah. but I, I like I like a few of those Knicks teams too, like the Houston, Allen Houston, yeah. the Charles Rewell yep. Knicks teams. Like I was just a fan of players, not really so okay. much teams. What about other sports? Uh, Yankees, Mets, Mets. <laughs> that was quick. Mets, one hundred percent. Jets, Jets, Jets. Fans? Yeah, uh -huh. from Jets. So. Do you like the blue collar fan? Yeah, you could say that. Mm -hmm. Your dad was a coach, right? Or yeah, he was in high school, a high school coach, yep. So you grew up around the game. Mm -hmm. I'm going in for the ribs. Mm -hmm. um, did your dad, like, do you remember when you started playing basketball? Yeah. Um, I don't actually remember, like, the first day or whatever, but just for as long as I can remember, my dad would have these uh, these little tight rims all over him, <laughs> all over the house, literally. Right. Um, and he was a high school coach too, so right after school or daycare or whatever, I'm just in a basketball gym all day. So I remember when I would be about three years old and you know just shooting all day from about you yeah. know three thirty and we're in there till about eight or nine. So uh, thank God I was someone who like loved it because yeah. you know you put that against a kid who doesn't love yeah, it. Yeah, I was gonna say that would be rough. Yeah, that would be rough. So the, your whole life you're kind of northeast, growing up up there, living there, going to school. UCLA gets yeah. in the picture. Yeah. Was it the recruiting trip that's <laughs> that sold it to you? It was. Uh, I remember the first time we got there, I had went with my dad. I think it was my junior year and they had a game. I was like, I don't know. I was opposed to it. It was too far from home for me at yeah. the time. But uh, in over that year, over that year, I just I know I seen a lot of things. I was kind of getting babied back home in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I'm, I'm one of the best sure. high school players in the country. Everybody wants to do everything for me. They want to cater to me, and I was eating it up. But eventually, I got tired of it. I said, you know what? I, I, I've done everything I wanted to do on the East Coast. You know, yeah. I'm gonna get away from my family, be on my own, and and, and go try to conquer the West Coast. So. Uh, just wanted to get away from everybody a little bit. That's kind of, it's A, it's impressive that you felt that way. There's like super mature of you to be able to think, you know, when mm -hmm. you're 18 to say that. Mm -hmm. But it also feels like one of the kind of decisions you'd make and then like a month later, you're like, oh crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I, it was kind of nice to have people catering to me. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, so now you're here. When, when the Grizzlies called this summer, what was your first thought when you hear, oh, the Grizzlies are interested? Um. You know, I was excited because I'm going to be honest, it's not like I'm leaving the Spurs to go to just anybody or, you know, go to a team or a, a franchise or organization. Because it's also your choice, right? Right. I mean, you're restricted. Right. You, can, you don't have to sign this sheet. No, exactly. But uh, with Memphis, you know, it kind of took me back to both playoff series we had. Mm -hmm. And I noticed how electric it was at the game and how great the fans were and how hard it is to play Memphis every time. Even yeah. last year with the with the rough record yeah. and the rough season, you know they're gonna play you hard. They're gonna give you a tough game. Um, I could I could see myself being a part of that, just yeah. being with the team, uh, grit and grind that's gonna compete every night. Um, you know, the crowds behind them, I've seen it firsthand. Mm -hmm. So I was actually excited. Like, you know, I, I, I looked at it and I was thinking about it like, 
you know, Memphis, that, that's actually a really good fit. I, and I didn't even think about going to Memphis. Like, I was like, I didn't know what to expect. But uh, I, I'm, I'm happy Memphis definitely came after you. I was excited about that. All right, let's eat some. Yeah, Kyle. let's do it. Thanks, man. Appreciate no problem. <laughs> See you guys soon.